Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the setup for this uh, creating this sequence. Where this green screen guy is uh, being tracked onto this carpet. So I'm going to show you how to do it, do the setup. Now I will not be showing you guys how to do the uh, tracking. So the tracking part, uh, you guys already know how to do it. So I will be, I will get rid of this camera tracker and then the. Uh, Okay, let me just bring this, get rid of all these uh, camera tracker exports so that I can set up all this entire thing again. So when you finish tracking, this is the result that you will get. All right, in the uh, Merge 3D test. Okay, so this is the result that you will get. So uh, anyway, this was aligned uh, already by the previous uh, track. So now, I'll go to the camera tracker and then you go ahead and export. Make sure you don't export the ground plane. And then you will have all these nodes here. So I'm going to show you how to set up the nodes so that you can get this uh, this person right to be to look as if he's sitting uh, on a carpet uh, flying on top of uh, Dubai. All right. So the things that we need is we need the point cloud, the point cloud information. All right. And also we need to adjust the camera a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. So if we look through the camera in the Merge 3D node that is exported here, right? just uh, right mouse click here, then go to camera. You can see that uh, he's pretty much staying put okay, based on the camera track. So if you don't like this orientation, right, you can still go to the Merge 3D and then go to orientation here to readjust until you get the alignment to match the perspective. So I think this one looks about right. Now the point cloud can help you uh, a lot in many ways. If you go closer to this shot by scrubbing forward, you can see that this uh, point cloud right basically indicates this uh, position in space. So for him to appear to be on the carpet, I'm going to be using this uh, point cloud in 3D space. So select it and then right mouse click, go to point cloud and then create an image plane. Okay. So once you create an image plane, you have a plain white image plane. And it is connected also through a merge through the point cloud. Now, you, I do not want the merge 3D. So you can get rid of it by pressing backspace after selecting it. And then you connect the new image plane into the merge 3D. And it will still maintain this new position. And now we can bring in our carpet. So bring in the carpet. And then join it to the image plane. And then now you can see the carpet and now we need to rotate in such a way that he appears to be sitting on top so select the image plane node then click on the transform tab and then rotate it okay just rotate this medium minus 90 degrees so that it will be flat and then rotate along the z-axis until it matches the perspective so you also want to scale this up slightly I'm gonna lock the scale and scale it slightly so that it can fit him. Then again, rotate along the z-axis. Then maybe you want to slide it forward a little bit. Okay, until it roughly matches his plane. Then again, I'm going to scale this up slightly. Okay, so next thing is we want to key out this uh, image plane that is attached to the 3D camera. So select the image plane, then press Control space bar, and then add the delta key here. Okay, let's look the image directly and then we're going to sample the green color so that we if you look through the here okay this is the checker pattern is going to be the uh, transparent area you can also adjust the green areas right until you get a clean right a clean uh, green screen okay a clear transparency all right. The next thing is you notice that areas which are not green will still be visible. So we need to borrow the track. Okay, the track mask that we used earlier on for our tracker to act as a garbage mask. So right mouse click on the output of your mask and then right mouse click hold and release and then choose garbage mask. So now the rest of it will be empty. Now you can see in the 3D world, right, this part is still not 
very transparent. So you can go to the delta key here and you can continue to adjust the greens until okay, it turns completely transparent. Okay, but problem right now is that if you look, if you see through the, the merge 3D camera, he's behind the carpet. We want him to be on top of the carpet. So if I switch over to perspective to show you the result, you can see he is actually behind the carpet. So we want to bring this image plane right so that it's in front of the camera. So first, go and select your exported camera. You notice that it's, it is locked, so we need to unlock it. All right, then go over to the image plane and then the depth, right? You go and reduce it until it is behind, okay? Or until it's like right in front of the camera like that. So if you switch over to see the camera right now, you can see that right now he is standing in, uh, on top of the carpet. And this time it will not clip through. Okay, we still have some minor keying issues there. You can go over to the Delta key here. And then maybe uh, play with the different color values until it becomes transparent. Okay, you do not want to overdo it. You can see his legs are also starting to become transparent. So we can just play play with this. Okay, so I think this is good enough for now. There's still some transparency there, but uh, yeah, but this is good enough for this demonstration. All right, so now we have the scale fixed and then he appears to be on the carpet. But right now we want to put him on a more dangerous location. So we are gonna add another image plane to put the Burj, uh, Burj Khalifa view uh, or the Dubai scene. So I'm gonna bring in the Dubai background. Okay, and then I'm going to attach it to an image plane and then connect it to the Merge 3D. You can see that it is very, very tiny. So we want to scale this really, really big. Give it a scale of maybe 40. Okay, so now it's gigantic. Then we need to push this back. So go over to the perspective view. And then in the Z axis, you just push this back. Now you can also rotate, rotate this a little bit so that it faces the camera in the correct axis like that and then in the z-axis okay just push it back a little bit and now if you look through the camera okay you can't see the background that's because we need to go over to the camera and then adjust the clipping mode and just increase the clipping range and then until you can see the backdrop okay now the backdrop is too far away so we want to uh, select the image plane and then perhaps bring it closer and then adjust the height a little bit. You can also increase the scale some more, maybe change it to 50 times, make it bigger. And then now you have your composite complete. All right. So you have the illusion of depth of him on the carpet. And then like this, once you're done, you can uh, go to the render view and you can render this out okay at full HD so I'm going to save it out as a saver and I'm just gonna call it carpet right overwrite the previous one and then render okay so you can see right now he's the scale all makes sense Okay, obviously the, the the green screen, the keying needs to be adjusted. Okay, but that's how you set set up the whole thing. Okay, so let me just zoom out to show the note three a little bit. Okay, so once it's rendered, we can go ahead and play the video.
Okay, so you can see here the king is a little bit too aggressive. That's why some parts of his body are transparent. Yeah, but that's essentially how you uh, do the setup. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording now.